Chapter 3, Biopsychology. Figure 3.1. Different brain imaging techniques provide scientists with insight into different aspects of how the human brain functions. Left to right, PET scan, positron emission tomography, CT scan, computed tomography, and fMRI, functional magnetic resonance imaging, are three types of scans. Have you ever taken a device apart to find out how it works? Many of us have done so, whether to attempt to repair something or simply to satisfy our curiosity. A device's internal workings are often distinct from its user interface on the outside. For example, we don't think about microchips and circuits when we turn up the volume on a cell phone. Instead, we think about getting the volume just right. Similarly, the inner workings of the human body are often distinct from the external expressions of these workings. It's the job of psychologists to find the connection between these. For example, to figure out how the firings of millions of neurons become a thought. This chapter strives to explain the biological mechanisms that underlie behavior. These physiological and anatomical foundations are the basis for many areas of psychology. In this chapter, you'll learn how genetics influence both physiological and psychological traits. You'll become familiar with the structure and the function of the nervous system. And finally, you'll learn how the nervous system interacts with the endocrine system.